Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, Vintage and Home Decor. Today I want to finally, finally, shopping. New year, new start, so let's go see what I got. Now, I will start with this one. This is a Lawrence the Wedding Bourbon. Um, um, wallpaper, I thought this will be, will be nice um, in the bedroom wall. I bought it for one, uh, one pound, so it's cheap. So that will be for me then I got this blanket uh, like beautiful remind me this um, a blueberry or something uh, you know uh, had the trademark for it but I thought it would be nice for me um, Obviously, I'm gonna wash it and will be a nice little coloring up, little blanky kind of thing. Um, I love it, so that was one pound that will be beautiful on the sofa, like a, a kind of like. decorated like how you like you use it falling down on the sofa like this I think this will be a nice decoration piece and seems very elegant this was my home for myself now um, when I'm in the charity shop usually I like to check out all the things including fabrics now this fabric uh, is like a greenish color with floral design and it's like a very nice uh, touch to it and I thought this would be nice for pillowcase making some uh, beautiful pillowcase like mixing with other fabric or actually using half regular half uh, fabric so if you are in the charity shop um, if you're crafting is always have crafting items like have uh, stamps if you are into card making uh, paint um, fabric zips I got a couple of nice zips for one pound this all was one pound now look out for it uh, watch out for it because it's worth it to buy it from the charity shop than buy it from actually from the shop the fabric shop that was one pound and it's a huge piece um, I'm gonna put it down that one there it's a huge piece so like I can make a good couple of little case or even some bag or anything and it's doubled so like like really big fabric like at least three four meter of fabric um, Obviously, I'm gonna wash it because that was in the charity shop, so I like to wash this stuff. But I'm gonna wash it and uh, I'm gonna use it. Um, in my home decor, isn't it beautiful? These flowers and one pound, guys, worth it always watch out for these kind of things so let's go into the wash too i bought it for myself 
Oh yes, I showed you guys the zips. Actually, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven different type of uh, zip for one pound. Like really, you can do pillowcase. If you into zip ones, I usually doing the envelope one. But if I want to do zips, then please have or bag or change your zip on no coat or anything. Zips always good to have home. So and because I'm sewing a lot and doing lots of DIYs, I thought I'm gonna find use for it. So. There was one pound. Then I find the other piece of fabric where I was thought is very interesting. It's like a velvet fabric. It's like a, this kind of size, but it's had this vintage looking uh, feeling. And I thought if I um, actually making pillowcases for reselling and using this with a lighter fabric or actually um, with leather, fox leather, you can make beautiful uh, pillowcases table cover, uh, table runner, lots of things. So, uh, other fabric for one pound, obviously I'm gonna wash it. And, <coughs> sorry guys, I still have the cold, the chest infection, so I'm so sorry about coughing. Uh, so I thought I can find use for this piece of fabric so actually I love it so gonna wash it again then I find this long there uh, backpack now if you guys long enough with me and know me I love backpacks um, is a very sporty uh, English framework uh, backpack now is obviously need a wash but i think it will be perfect for me going uh, uh, to the town having my wallet and stuff in it uh like my osmotic pan if my dog come in with me i can put uh, his uh, bags and treat and wipes and everything so i love to have backpacks and I like this backpack, so uh, for one pound, guys, that was worth it. So obviously, go to washing. Now, first, let's go start with this one. I find this one in the St. Parents Charity Shop for one pound. Now, somebody was, I, I think, somebody was trying to paint it in some pieces. Uh, uh, with nail polish or something pink now I will try to use nail uh, nail polish remover try to get rid of it if I can't get rid of this color <coughs> is not uh, excuse me guys is not a big thing but actually uh, the shape what I like and this shape uh, is very trendy uh, this year as well um, what I thinking I'm gonna do some DIY we're gonna some do some painting on this and we're gonna design it for better looking nice uh, ways I love the shape so and there was one pound that will be good for a DIY. The other ways where I find, and that I find it for resale, 
this is a black gloss large waist and there was two pound and fifty p but mm, huge like like really big and have some uh some bow on it now i bought it for two pound fifty and i think it's selling between 25 and 35 pound on it with my ebay shop my ebay shop is same as my youtube channel vintage and home decor so that was two pound fifty and i hope to sell it between 25 and 35 beautiful black waist is very uh you see at the black the gold uh the green the jewelry tone uh red purple is all um very popular so after i cleaning up obviously nicely i'm gonna do some photo shoot and i you're gonna find this one in my ebay shop if you're interesting is the same vintage and home decor now last time i picked up from the Santa's charity shop uh, a little jewelry box with a le leopard on it now this is a peacock sorry guys i stand it up all the time and i come in a little bit closer to you and these have again some um, velvet fabric inside and mirror, uh, mirror uh, panel, beautiful little piece. Um, now, I wasn't realized in the shop, but it's have a chip here, so probably eight pound, ten pound. I can sell this one. Probably I bought it for one pound. I'm not losing money either way. So I got that one. Then obviously you guys know I'm into candle holders. So this one is a wooden Indian uh, floral design um, animal. Oh, not animal. Sorry, uh, liquor. Um, wooden candle holder that was one pound and I thought is will be beautiful for my home decor obviously I leave it original I'm not doing anything with this one because it's nice how it is so uh, this is going to my home decor um, the other thing where I picked up is a River Island Milo um, wallet or purse uh, you have the hanging on the river island uh, the river island uh, trademark and it's like a fluffy uh, little purse if maybe eight ten pound I can sell it. I got it for one pound, but my I just keep it for myself. I'm not sure yet, so. But I like it. Um, then I picked up which one I show you guys. I'm so excited. Um, this wooden box. This is from the 1930s. Uh, is a French uh, wooden box with beautiful. Uh, a great design around it and top of it. Um, apparently, when I was looking up, it's made from uh, one not wood. Uh, I bought it for two pound, and I think between 20 25 pound, I can sell it. Um, some of the wooden boxes very expensive bought me I trying to buy it and sell it as fast as I can so I can buy new items to my shop so this beautiful wooden box was two pound 
is gonna be in my eBay shop if you're interested in vintage and home decor. Uh, you can find it. So this one. Now I find this. Um, some people, when I research it, saying a plate mat. I call it like a bigger um, cup. Uh, Um, I always forget why I'm trying to say something like quicker um, cup holder um, help me guys uh, I always forget anyways is coming with this different design like they are huge that's for sure is have different design guys guys it's like dogs and and uh, different type of um, pictures but all of them is signed trying to show it slowly so you guys can see the design they are beautiful and uh, all of them is signed on the bottom all of them all of them signed so these posters <coughs> There we go. Now I said it when I don't think it, I say it. This, I call in coasters, like a bigger size of poster, signed uh, maybe the 50s, 60s, or older, I'm not pretty sure, but it's old, vintage. Um, I bought it for one pound and I'm thinking between 15 and 20 pound. I can sell it uh, in my eBay shop. Um, I'm not sh not sure, but like 15 and 20 quid for sure. I can sell it, and I bought it for one pound. Vintage and home decor, my eBay shop. You can find me there, and my items. These is what I show in for you guys today and uh, other items when I already uploaded to my shop. Now, uh, this one is uh, Lurie. Uh, designer, sorry guys, uh, I'm using my phone at the moment uh, for um, filming because making better quality videos than my uh, cameras so that's a designer uh, cat figurine and is a ring holder and is saying you are perfect it's absolutely cute when I saw it not just that saw is a designer uh, designer made a uh, cat figurine but when I saw it make me smile so it was one pound 50p so I thought I have to have it I have to have it in my shop is on eBay for 24 pound 25 pound probably I gonna sell it between 15 and 20 pound absolutely cute little thing uh, you guys can see it is have the item number everything originally with it 
so absolutely beautiful piece there was one pound fifty and between I sell it at between eighteen twenty pound I can sell it so I got this one now our other thing I got these two um coffee down that Italian um wall art and it's signed the two picture is different and the two piece is signed differently now I wasn't checking out exactly who is the maker who is signed there but I'm not really able to find that other one like this kind of um, what I find similar to this but not signed is have a stamps, the original stamps and everything. Um, I saw it on 25, 45 pounds and upwards. Now I'm not pretty sure yet how much is actually worth, but probably I will check it up more. But this piece, this one, is has Oh yes, the copy the montant, very fragile and is always ending up broken. So here is missing one petal and here have a new chip, but otherwise is in perfect condition. But but in the back is the paper, the original paper is missing. So Probably what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna redo the back so it's gonna be looking so much better. And then you guys can see it here is being broken, one of the rose petal, and here is half a little chip. There is the original stamp, a copy de monte, made in Italy. There is the signature. It's a beautiful piece. Obviously, a little bit I'm gonna be touching up, uh, need a clean, but I think in selling between 35 to 50 pounds, somewhere along that way. And it's a heavy piece. And the other one, guys is the back is untouched but um, I'm gonna re-glue it we do this part of it and this is how it look like again that is the original stamps copy the monta made in Italy and that is the signature and this is a uh, no cheat, no breakage. Beautiful piece. Isn't it, guys? So, probably, oh, I said it between 35 and, and um, 50 pounds between. I trying to sell it probably I'm gonna put it up for $35.99 kind of because absolutely beautiful and I bought the two for five pound so the two of them was five pound but I'm gonna sell it separately so I should I sell it separately or like a package what you guys thinking because if I'm selling separately, 35, 35, let's say, give me an offer for 30, 60 pounds, or selling the two for 70 pounds together. What you guys thinking? I was thinking about it, I'm not sure yet, but they are beautiful pieces. Absolutely love it. Even I really into to keep them, but 
obviously I have a shop I have to sell and not keep even I love it I absolutely love this design love copy the monster they are a uh, handmade or the little piece and obviously uh, you can find that fingerprints on the flower because they use their hand to make this beautiful art so this is what I bought today and I think just uh, three items and I'm not saying the others least I'm making 100 pounds and everything else is plus there and I paid in the sometimes charity shop 10 pound and the other charity shop where I don't know the name uh, I paid 11 pounds so everything was cost me for 21 pound and with three items I can make 100 pound beads with three items so I think I did a really good job today I really love this coffee monster guys but I have to say alright guys thank you so much for watching um, I hope you guys like my pink hair uh, new year new me so thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you wasn't subscribed yet and see you guys next time stay safe stay beautiful love you guys bye